Hello everyone, my name is Arlen and welcome again for another math video with me. For this video, we're going to prove the following. We're going to show that the answer of P is not a rational number for prime P and for N greater than or equal to 2. Okay, so first we assume that the answer of P is a rational number. So let's try to see what will happen if we assume that the answer of P is a rational number. If that were true, then this would imply that the answer of P can be written as A over B. Okay, where A and B are natural numbers. For our purposes, they are natural numbers since the answer of P is greater than 0. P is a prime and N is greater than or equal to 2. Furthermore, this ratio A over B can always be written in simplest form. So, from that we will also require that the GCD or the greatest common divisor of A and B to be equal to 1. A and B are relatively prime. Here, we raise this to the nth power. And if we do that, we will arrive with the equation P is equal to A to the n over B to the n. And if we arra rearrange this equation, we will have p times b to the n is equal to a to the n. Okay, let's call this star. Okay, p times b to the n is equal to a to the n. So therefore, that means that p divides a to the n. With our additional condition that a is not equal to 1 as can be seen here because p is a prime number and it divides a to the n so obviously a cannot be equal to 1. Hence we know from the fundamental fundamental theorem of arithmetic that if a is greater than or equal to 2 for any integer then we will have that a can be written as a product of prime numbers. So we will just say that a is equal to p1 times p2 up to let's say p sub r. Okay. r here is greater than or equal to 1. So therefore, if you write the equation if, if we rewrite this one in another form, then we will have p divides p sub 1, p sub 2, up to p sub r raised to the nth power. Well, here we have p divides a product of prime numbers from p sub 1 up to p sub r. So therefore, for at least one prime number there, p divides a p sub i. For some i, from 1 to r. We don't know what that p sub i is, but we know that p divides a prime number from p sub 1 up to p sub r. Okay. Now, a prime number divides a prime number, so that means that this p is in fact equal to that p sub i, which in turn divides a, because this p, p sub i is a factor of a. So therefore, we will have p divides a. So now, we can write A as P times K. Of course, K is an integer and it's greater than zero, so we'll just put that 
it's a natural number. And if we raise this to the nth power, we will have a to the n is equal to p to the n times k to the n. But from star, here, from star, a to the n is equal also to p times b to the n. So this one is also equal to p times b to the n. Let's consider this. We'll divide both sides by p. So what will happen here to the left side is we can write this as p times p to the n minus 2 times k to the n. The right hand side will just be b to the n. This one is a natural number. So therefore, p divides b to the n. And by a similar argument here, we know that b is not equal to 1. And by a similar argument as we did with a, we can say that p divides b. Okay. Now, we have p divides a and p divides b. This means that p divides the GCD of a and b. But we know that the GCD of a and b here is equal to 1. Okay, so we will write that down that one here. So we now have p divides 1. But wait, p is a prime number and it divides 1. And that one is impossible. So whatever we do, we will arrive at a contradiction. So therefore, our assumption was false. Okay, so this is impossible. Right? So therefore, we have to conclude the opposite of our assumption. We have to conclude that the answer to P is not a rational number. And that completes the proof and that completes this video. Thank you for watching and see you at the next video. Bye-bye.